Hey guys, welcome back to EA Sports FC 24, Stephen H. Career Mode. And first of all, I just want to apologize in advance just in case of my voice crack or sounds a little bit, uh, the volume sounds a little bit lower than before. Um, I'm experiencing some sort of sore throat right now. I don't have COVID, so I'm not quite worried about that. It's the fact that I can't really project my voice, which is a good thing. Sometimes I just kind of shout towards the mic. And uh, yeah, hopefully I'm not going to give you guys any unpleasant ear bomb or eardrum bomb, however you guys want to call it. So right here, the month of October, coming to an end right now. Let's look at the calendar and see what kind of games we're we playing today against Rangers in the first game in today's episode away in the Europa League. Again, I feel like right now we might be, I think after winning this game, if we can, if we win this game, then I'm sure we're going to qualify for the round of 16, uh, or at least to the next stage. Chelsea next, uh, Brighton at home, and we're going to finish this episode off with the uh, Rangers at home as well. I mean, when you look at Group C, it literally looks perfect for us. Of course, right now, Rangers is currently well, sitting in second with two points, but if Split and also Lowry Hunt, uh, those two teams, drew their respective game, then I think we have a very, very highly likely chance to qualify. But again, I think we need to win two more games in order to be sure to confirm whether we're going straight to round of 16 or the preliminary round. I'm going to rotate the squad relatively heavy today. So Fernandez and goal back four. We got Sirkin, Kyrodia, Humphrey, Schofield in the middle. We got Manu, Miller, Miley, and central attacking midfielder. We have Jack Hyde up front. We got Hayes and Babbage. I believe this is this might be the first time for both of them to start together as the newly duo. And on the bench, I still keep a relatively very strong uh, bench just in case if shits happen. So Arthur Bruce, Asti Stryker, Barlow, Elag, Sire Emery, McNeil, Spencer, and Kirk. Let's hopefully win three games out of three in the Europa League. I'm not quite sure what happened to my throat. I recorded the episode yesterday. I think after that, I felt fine. But five minutes later, oh boy, it just went really horrible. It, it hurts a lot to the point where I thought it was some sort of COVID symptoms. But I did do a bit of testing. And I'm fine, so I'm not quite sure what's going on. Hopefully, my voice will be back at one point, hopefully tomorrow. If not, maybe in a few days, but, you know, sometimes sore throat just kind of kills you. Oh, that's a beautiful ball to circuit on the left here. Right now, we just need somebody in the middle. That's a very good interception by one of the Rangers player. Comes Hayes. We just need, a, you know, finding our first chance here, if we can. Here comes Spavich. Good turn. Good turn as well to Miller. He's onside. And we have taken one go up right now. I don't want to... You know, actually, I'm very excited. I'm very happy scoring. But the force right now, I just can't. I'm just kind of restraining it. I'm just trying to restrict the focal movement. Or else it's going to kill my throat at one point. But that was a very good play. From the middle, up front as well, Jack Kai. That was a very, very good turn. And Miller, what a great finish as well. Here comes Miller, Jack Hyde, first time finish, and we have made it 2-0 after scoring the first goal. I believe it's only, what, three minutes apart. Guys, I'm telling you guys, I feel like we can genuinely go all the way through in the Europa League. I genuinely feel that. I mean, yes, I know we've been getting some relatively easy draw in the cup in the cup features or in the in the group stage, but the fact that the way how we play it is just phenomenal at the moment. Whether we're playing our first team or second strength team, we are looking very, very good. From Sirkin, Jack Hyde to Miller. Beautiful play. Come on, Bavich. I want you to be on the score sheet. If not, it clears away. Here comes Jack on the left side. Need a good cross in the middle. Heads it away by Rangers player. Last one minute before the end of first half, we have been pretty much dominating Rangers. And that was a very, very poor touch. 30 seconds left. Here comes uh, Schofield, but running out of space. Maybe just spun around just a little bit. We don't have tall players in the middle, but it is going to be halftime. How is a player with that caliber getting knocked off just like that? Chris Humphreys. He is 6'6". Six six. Somehow getting one of the smaller Rangers player getting knocked away from the ball. was just really, really weird. In general, we were one goal, 
Well, they got one goal back. Like I said, 2-0 was the most dangerous scoreline. If we don't try to score another goal very soon, and at one point we're going to shit our pants. Mzbavich to Miller. Cuts inside. Goes for it. Good save by Calher, the former Liverpool player. Clears it away. And Humphreys didn't quite want to deal with it for the first time. Doesn't matter. Let's go again. 55 minutes in. Here comes Miley. Oh, good turn. First time. Oh, another good save as well. Here comes Jack. To Miley. Back to Jack again. So much space. Smash it. 65 minutes in. Makes a 3-1. What a great finish right there by Jack Hyde. I'm happy I'm putting him on more uh, nowadays. Again, he still has his potential on it. And you know what? At the same time, I'm quite happy nobody tried to bid for him because if you were at, if you were have to ask me back in the summer, I might have probably cashed in on him. But I think with this level right now, with this level of competition, with this level as well, I just don't want to lose him. Here comes Bruce. That was a little bit lucky. To met Neil on the left. Miley's there, and we made a 4-1. Yes, I made four substitutions after the third goal, but you know what? It's all down on those players as well. Matt Neal is nice to see him to get a little bit more minutes in the uh, in the cup competition or in the in the Europa League. Certainly deserve it. I mean, he's been one of the players kind of rising through the rank, even though right now he's being kind of being pushed out from the packing order. And I'm happy to see him with getting an assist. Make one more changes here, but I'm sure it's not going to do anything for the rest of the game. And the game ends right here, I believe so. Blow the whistle, ref. I mean, what's the point of playing it on? Thank God, even though it's only one minute or there's a delay to one minute to 15 seconds. But yeah, three wins out of three in the group stage. And I'm sure I'm very convinced right now we're going to be qualified. I'm not quite sure what's the other results going around in the other match for group c but right now looking it, it looks pretty nice for us and i really hope we're gonna qualify as first place and hopefully win the competition if we can looking at group c right here after the victory against rangers i mean not quite ideal split has won their game against fc lahont so they're five points away from us but i think right now we just need to win one more game in order to be uh qualified which is a very good thing so i can start putting on youngsters or Reserve players or second strength player in that competition, you know what? Just trying to experience some of those players. Check in the Premier League. We're playing against Chelsea Knicks. They're sitting at 10th right now. And of course, us and uh, Chelsea have a game in hand, so which is also a good thing for us. Arsenal have dropped points against Brentford. Uh, right now, they're sitting at first, 26 points. If we beat Chelsea in the next game, then we are going to be one point clear and sitting at the top of the league table. I won't be making any changes compared to the default squad. It is going to be same starting 11 as usual. Siegler and go back for got Spencer, Pacho, King, Kirk. In the middle, we got Mainu, Elak, Sire, Emery, Vanner. Up front, we got Van Duven and Bruce. And you just love to see Van Duven. It's sitting at 84 rating right now. Looking, looking very, very good. The fact that both of them, the strikers, I signed them, or at least I signed Van Duven two seasons ago. 74 rate, I believe. So I wasn't quite sure whether if I should sign him or not because of his size. But even though size do matter <laughs> in a way uh, when you play up front, the fact that those two, these two up here, just work perfectly. I mean, look at other Bruce right now, 88 rated. I'm telling you guys, at one point, he's going to hit 90 by the end of the season. But look at his stats as well. Just completely amazing. 87 pace, one of the fastest players in the game as well. And his technique, everything, ball striking ability was just phenomenal. Guys, let me know down in the comment section below whether if you believe this Pochettino top bully Chelsea project in the next five years. Because right now, I don't believe it at all. They lost to Middlesbrough the other day. And it's a game where it's very easily for them to win, uh, to go to the final. And potentially winning a trophy for them. But certainly, I do not want them to be because, again... Uh, being as an Arsenal fan, you just hate Chelsea being happy. But here comes Elak. And that was a good block. Van Duven winning the ball back right outside the edge of the penalty box. We need a quick key right now. Oh, that is not a penalty. But yeah, like I said, I certainly don't believe in this Chelsea project at the moment. I'm so sorry if you guys are Chelsea fans. But 
yeah, I don't, I just don't see it coming. That's away by Elec, and of course, always having a player hugging down the line of a corner kick because this is the madness we're gonna get do. Bruce, ah, oh, good save, Emery, get there. I literally press the shoe button. The game just doesn't register. Oh, that was a good tackle by Emery. Finding Van Duven. Cuts in the middle to Fanner. Heads it away. And we still have the ball right outside the box. Quick one, two. Off the bruise. Oh, I thought he scored. From that angle, I thought he scored. But that was a very well played by Stephen H. Oh, off the bruise. Van Duven. Oh, oh my god. Just, just get out of here. Just get out of here. How have we not scored so far in this half? I've been trashing about Chelsea, but I'm not getting anything in return, despite having tons of possession. Across in middle, heads it away once again. And here comes Van Duven to Vanner to Bruce. Ah, oh, another block. Oh my god, of course. That one chance that Chelsea is having right now, it's not it. Enzo gives it to number 17. Good block. And ricochets off the player, the goalkeeper, and Del Fernandez have scored. Wow. We have been controlling throughout the whole game. Then just one counter attack, one defensive mistake. And the game, it's literally flipped right now. One goal down. Here comes Chelsea again. Oh my god, they have scored. They have scored again. 2-0. 2-0 for Chelsea. And this is not the scene I want to see. I don't think we're going to win this game. <laughs> at all. Oh, wow. Wow. 15 minutes in. Chelsea have scored three goals. And there's only one player. Or one guy to blame. Throughout that, what, 15 minutes. It's just me. Poor defending, giving the ball away, not taking now chances, and with three go down. Well, there's a chance right there in front of us to take all three points today. Especially in the first half, I really thought we were going to win it based on that performance. But that spark of 10 minutes from Chelsea have scored three goals in 10 or 15 minutes. And right now, we're still sitting a second. Nah, guys, that first half performance convinced me that we're going to be at the top of the league table after that game but right now sitting a second wow it's a big opportunity miss for us so well there there's i, I can't be sad about it uh because the next game we're playing against brighton sitting 18th with seven points i remember i think they were relegated at one point right this is season two or season three we play against them i was completely shocked by the fact that they got relegated uh, November is here, so why not? Let's try to do some uh, email here. Barlow received transfer offer. Ooh, like that's the thing. I really don't want to let Barlow go. 75 rated already. I mean, I'm probably just going to block the transfer right now. If I had any plans for him in the future, I will certainly alter that. But look at the monthly report from my hometown, uh, Canada. Tremblay, not going to make the cut. Matthew Barnes looks pretty good. But his value, 375k. I'm sure he might be in the wrong position. Uh, five foot six as well. I feel like in this game we have been getting quite a bit of a shorty. I don't think uh, the majority of the players that we have scouted are above six foot. Maybe a few of them, but again, oh, Frankie Wilkins. These three players have to be called up at one point, uh, or at least these two, uh, Patrick Barry and also Frankie Wilkins. Both of them are certainly going to get called up, hopefully by the end of the season. But looking at Matthew Barnes, ooh, that's the thing, right? 56 rated. He might be in the wrong position. I strongly believe so. He doesn't look like a winger to me based on those stats, especially those acceleration and sprint speed. He might be a central attacking midfielder. Let's see how long it's going to confer him. Takes two weeks. All right, you know what? Let's give it a go. And I'm sure if they have a pretty good ceiling of their potential and their overall rating is not reflecting on it, I'm sure they're in the wrong position. 
All right, third game. Let's try to bounce back after that horrific performance against Chelsea. I know, like I said, Brighton's sitting at 18th, but um, yeah, I don't want to look them down in a way, even though they're a pretty good team. So I still make two changes. Jack had to serve a chance after that beautiful display against Rangers in the last Europa League game. Miley coming on as well. Oh my, here comes Brighton. Oh, they made it look so easy. Three minutes in, we are a go down. What a start for Brighton. And what a horrific start from Stephen H. It was just the simplest of play, letting them down, driving down the left side. Uh, but the fact that Leon King getting juked just like that in front of the box, unacceptable. It was Riley Kirk on the left here. On the right, my bad. Oh, seeing Van Duven get there. Oh, beautiful cross. Riley Kirk, this guy has been a revelation to the squad, especially with his ability to cross a ball like that. It reminds me of Beckham in a way. It was a perfect cross all the way to the back post. And Van Duven, again, reading the ball pretty nicely. Right now, we equalize it 1-1. Oh, my God. What is that, Miley? What is that? Here comes Brighton. Again, the most dangerous side they have been. Here comes Brighton again. Oh, wow. What is that? Leon King. Leon King is not up to par, man. His defense today was just horrible. Whew. Just going to sim it through. I just don't, I don't want to watch them celebrating in front of my face. It was Miley. Find Jack Hyde. Oh, good finish right there. That little movement from him, dragging away from the defenders, making sure he is free. And he made it 2-2. So far, it's been a very interesting game. There are chances for both sides, but right now, it feels like this game could end it up like, what, a big score. 5-4, 4-3, any of those. Here comes Kirk driving down the right. Got tons of room in front of him. Bruce finding Van Duven, 1-1 -on -one with the goalkeeper. He's not coming out. And that's a chance for us to take 3-2. And we have regained the lead after, you know, I've been a roller coaster performance. Right now, our strategy is to keep scoring goals. <laughs> oh, here comes Brighton again. In the box. You don't want to get close to them. Oh, that was, that was bad from one of the defenders. Here comes Brighton. Holy crap. Like I said, you just can't, if you can't get rid of the ball... In that what twelve yards, eighteen yards area, they got they're gonna they're gonna capitalize you, and they did. Good play by Pacho. Good tackle. Quick counter. Can we do that? To Miley. Good turn to Van Duven. Not the best of turn. In the middle, Jack Hyde. No, he got blocked right there. Menu with his left foot over over the shot. Oh my God! What is that? How freaking stupid this game can be. It was just a sliding tackle. And the ball just kind of falls perfectly. <laughs> in front of the player. One and one with the goalkeeper. And he scores. All right, what else can I do in that situation? It's time to make some changes here, guys. I mean, I'm getting a little bit upset. A little bit pissed off. I'm trying to find a team or put on a team that can help us to win. You guys probably saw who I put on. I feel like we might not be able to win this game. Maybe a tied could be a good result. Pretty much last minute here. Oh, that was a good tackle. Today is just not our day. Uh, defensively as well. It's just poor. That is not a foul. I'll take that. Here comes Bruce. Come on, everybody. Overlapping run, please. Oh, to Emery. Last chance. To Miller. To Fanner, good turn. Ah, oh, that was a good tackle. Game end. 4-3. Defensively, what the hell. That's the only thing I can say. A chance for us to take, and we have lost it. I can't believe how horrible that performance was. Allowing Brighton to score, what, the last two goals to win the game was just, just hurt. The fact that right now we're five points behind Arsenal, and United is one point away from us. And it feels like sunshine and rainbow at one point, but not anymore. Right now, it's just raining dog shit. 
I've had enough with my first team, if I'm being honest. I feel like this game is very important because if we win this game, we're going to qualify for the round of 16 in the Europa League. To do that, we have to win, right? I mean, I could have possibly filled out the strongest as 11, but at the same time, it doesn't make sense. We're playing against Man City in the next game. I don't rest those players just in case if any injuries happen. So, uh, on goal, we have in goal, we have Fernandez back for Gus Sirk and Kyrodia. Humphrey, Schofield in the middle, we got Maynou, McNeil, Miley, Barlow, and up front, we got Hayes and Bavich. Oh, that was a beautiful play. Barlow, finding Bavich. Oh, I think he's running out of time. Go for it. Good shot. Callagher with an amazing save. There's McNeil. Finding Samuel Hayes and good finish. 1-0 up within 10 minutes. What a great start. What a great start, guys. Here comes Miley. Finding Barlow in the middle. Keep on going. To Samuel Hayes. And he makes it 2-0. And I think Samuel Hayes has the top goal scorer for the club right now. Despite only playing the cup competition and also in Europe. But this guy, that's the thing. It's a dilemma because I think he's pretty pretty good. But when every time he starts in the league, he's not giving me anything. But at the same time, you want to give him a chance to start. But to start in domestic cup or in Europe, he always performs. Oh, Barlow, what have you done? Score first, go for the club, please. Oh, what? What? How can you miss that? It was the simplest of finesse shot, and he just curls that out wide. Oh, my God. Look at them. Oh, Rangers getting their first goal to claim. Wait, what? Was it a penalty just now? Well, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter because we conceded. And, uh... Yeah, not a fun score line. Could have easily scored the third goal earlier on by Barlow if he didn't mess that up. Oh no, here comes Rangers. Oh, good save. Get it out. Holy crap, what a save by Hernandez. Maybe a counterattack here, perhaps. To try to kill this game off. He's offside. Oh yeah, he is well offside. I think it's time to make some changes here. But that was a great save by our veteran goalkeeper, Fernandez. And I definitely need to add a bit of intensity at the back and also up front as well. Today it has been a shit show of this episode. So let's try not to concede in the last minute. Last few minutes here. Here comes Rangers. Not the best cross from them. Can we clear the ball? Yes, we can. Here comes Riley Kirk. Go on. And he's running out of space. To Jack Hyde. Oh, come on. Somebody support him. I mean, we won this game already. Oh, uh, Hayes, no. That's fine. We won the game. Blow the whistle. Thank God. Two wins in this episode, but those, both of those wins are quite crucial in the group stage as well. And I'm sure right now we're qualified for the round of 16 of Europe. I'm sorry that I can't produce the most exciting gameplay for today's episode again. I'm still feeling quite sick right now. No matter how much I try to rant or show my excitement, my throat just can't let me. But let's look at Group C. I mean, we qualify right now. Job is done. No matter what, we will be qualified as the first place team. So we go, we're going directly straight to round of 16. So in the next two games, it's going to be a, a dead rubber match for us at least so uh but in terms of second place is any team up for grabs between those three so looking at the league right now to sign it off five points away uh from arsenal could have easily gotten i mean we could have easily gotten those six points if we play better again i don't think we were horrible but it's just that lapse of you know misjudgment bad plays just cost us those two games we we could have probably get a point at least or maybe if not winning one of those three games but it is what it is next game against man city uh it's going to be a tough one i mean we did have a pretty good record against them last season but this year it's a completely different story we just gotta stay focused right now so thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed this video like this video subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys in a bit